four meetings over a period of three weeks. And everybody kind of ran in different directions with different assignments. And it all gelled together sometime about late yesterday afternoon. But it worked out well. We had great support. For uh, southbound. Oh no, I'm going to New York. You're northbound. Yeah, I live so in he's so he's coming by. He anchors out, and we're all up here saying, "Who's Dark Hall is that?" We thought it was some guy that showed up for the wooden boat show. Yeah. We finally figured out who the owner is, and we put him in this slip. So he is he he grew into the first yeah, Southport man. boat show. Serendipitous. Serendipitous, <laughs> right there. exhibitors and spectators is way beyond what I ever thought and I'm sure it's going to catch on be a regular thing. This is a electric launch that was uh, marketed in the 1930s by General Electric under the uh, they manufactured it under a name called Electrocraft. They had, uh, the holes were made by Thompson and it would, came off a lake in the, the Blue Ridge Mountains up in Roaring Gap and the folks there um, wanted to keep the boat, or the, I'm sorry, the lake, uh, pollution free, and they outlawed uh, gasoline powered motors. And uh, you had to either row, paddle, or sail, or have an electric boat. And uh, a bunch of the neighbors uh, got together and purchased a fleet of, I uh, understand, around 20 or 30 of these. And uh, the lake is still, to this day, uh, operates under that restriction. And a lot of these are still up there. And they keep them in boat houses, and it uh, runs on batteries. So. Absolutely great. I mean, it's the uh, so for the first one, we've had a heck of a turnout. Uh, in fact, we've already pretty much decided it's going to happen again next year. 